Congratulations, Coach, on the great win over Gustavus. Um, a really impressive performance. But before we get into the actual game, um, what about the whole homecoming experience and the atmosphere at Royal Stadium on Saturday, in, despite all the rain? Yeah, it was something. Uh, um, the rain didn't deter our. Pe- I mean, people stayed, and it was great. And uh, it was off and on. It was warm enough, and it wasn't windy, so that was great. But boy, I tell you. Um, the whole morning, I was just I was blessed time and time again. Uh, a lot of former players, for, you know, and alumni, and uh, people that have uh, given a lot to the program and and gotten a lot, and just felt like there was a lot of good fruit walking around. And uh, it blessed somebody like me who's been here for a long time. And uh, yeah, my heart was really full. And so the day was was amazing. And you know, unfortunately, a lot of it has to do, you know, I mean. If we win, it's it's way better. But uh, but uh, even before it started, man, it was it was a phenomenal uh, phenomenal day. Yeah. So about the game, um, a lot of really good stuff there. Um, hard to know really where to start. Um, but let's start with the defense. How about the defense with forced and five turnovers, holding a really explosive offense to only nine points? Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Peter Haugen uh, coaches those guys really well, and Gustavus is does Gustavus is a really good football team there. Their front's better than they've been, and they're uh, so they're a lot to to deal with, and they're leading everybody in in uh, offense, especially scoring. But um, our defense is they just play so hard, and that that's the one thing we keep coming back. Even though you know this, we need to fix this, we need to work on the and all those things. Uh, man, our our guys are just playing so hard, and they're they're so fit, and and so it's fast. So they make a defense make a decision quick and that kind of causes those turnovers also the physicality of the play and so really proud of those guys in a in a total effort and um it's just been uh they, they just kind of build on on other things and we lost dane schumacher and that was a tough deal for us because he's just a guy who has you know we're not real veteran over there and, and he's one that had it and man he was playing fast we we talk about when you know what to do and you're confident in that and you you trust yourself in the base, boo, you can you can go and, and he's a guy. So we miss that, but we're 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 getting it back with younger guys. Yeah. So one of those younger guys that Royal fans are really getting to know here, Nate Farm, uh, had two interceptions. Um, playing the safety position, you've had some real standouts there over the years and especially recently. Um, but how does he compare? Well, you know, uh, Nate, uh, we we have high expectations for him. We we uh, he took the long route on. Uh, uh, in our recruiting process, but he is, he's, we just noticed right away, he, he is really athletic, he's really fast, really gets the game, you know, he's got great savvy, and as the understanding came, you know, it's exciting as coaches, sometimes a guy's really a great athlete, but if the understanding, not just knowledge, but the savvy of the defense comes in, you know, and he's got work to do, but boy, he's, he's been in the right place in the right time, and, but he's also, He's physical. He's fast. He, so he's just doing some great things. And he, as he gains more confidence, he leads better. And uh, so you know, it's one thing. You know, we don't usually point out a guy, but he's made some plays and 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 those stats things. And the D line would be saying, "Oh, that's because we had pressure on him and all that." But it, but it is a obviously defense. It's a team thing. But man, they're again, it goes back to playing really hard. And next thing you know, you got a lot of guys around the ball. So a tip ball and. And there's, I can picture him right now just diving, getting his hands under it, making a, making a play. Yeah, so on offense, um, the last drive of scoring drive, which was late in the third quarter, all runs, all positive gains, just marching right down the field. Um, how big is that to be able to control the ball like that when you need to? Yeah, I think that was, I think that was a, a key to the game. Uh, we always want to be able to do both. We always, we're always going to have a run as long as I'm here, I think. We're always going to have a running game. It doesn't mean it's going to be good, but it's we have to have a surge. We have to come off the football on offense and um, and test those waters. And it doesn't always happen all the time. You know, I, I know that fans probably can uh, get a little bit irritated when it feels like we're just running into the line, but we're setting things up for different things. And if you can't be, um, if you can't have a, a a blend and a balance, then then you're not you're not going to win very often. So. Uh, rain had a little to do with it. Every time we had the ball, it's stinking pouring, and then it stopped when they had it. So we were handing it off, but that's a key to what you just asked because we kind of had to run it. 
and we were able to. And I think part of that is we're wearing them down, gaining a little confidence. Our running backs are just, you know, O-line's got some work to do, but Kunkel and Boris and Ellingson and those guys, they, they are they are tough kids that are that are running the ball well. And, and, you know, the offensive line can make the backs look good, but the backs can make the O-line look good too. Yeah, for sure. Um, so now heading up into Hamlin this week, first divisional matchup, uh, which these are the one of the four games that really matter in the standings, or really count, I should say, in the standings um, for what you want to accomplish at the end of the year. Um, but what are you seeing from the from the Pipers? Yeah, you, um, I'll answer it. I'll go to that first one, where every single game is is a is a big deal, and then a conference game, obviously, like those. But these last to where we want that last game. We play a crossover, and we want to be in the championship game, and so we need to win to win those. The Pipers are a much improved team. They had a, you know, you know, the COVID season. A lot of teams, some teams did well with that, some teams not as, but uh, most teams kind of grew a little bit. And and I think Hamlin for sure has done that. I I think they're three and one. Um, uh, we we uh, we match up well with them. Uh, but but they uh, they Chip Taylor's their coach and just does a great job with those guys and we've been playing them later in the year and they don't have numbers like we do in, in some other teams and so they've been depleted well this is earlier in the year and, and we're kind of excited that it's going to be that I think it's going to be a real good game over at Hamlin and uh, um, but but they do they do some real good things they, they really play hard it's a tradition in my opinion it's a tradition of Hamlin football. Yeah, well, let's let's go get him on Saturday. Let's go get him. Can't wait.